Hello, dear viewers, you are on InstaForex TV channel and I'm Kate Stichina. Major opponents of the US dollar started this trading week rather successfully. The demand for such assets as the year-end crude oil was elevated by investors' desire to take on risks after the G20 summit that had brought positive results. It gave hope to market participants that the trade conflict between the United States and China may be resolved soon. However, yesterday the investor sentiment changed ahead of publication of key macroeconomic statistics that can have a profound influence on the market. So, you are watching video calendar for Forex traders at InstaForex TV channel. Tomorrow, QST and CAD traders are likely to be more active. On Friday, investors will observe reports on the jobs market conditions in the United States and Canada. However, expectations of this new will also have an impact on the course of trading on Thursday. The demand for the US dollar may increase if the ADP report shows better-than-expected results. On the other hand, if the jobs data falls short of the forecast, the American currency may weaken. But it does not refer to the Canadian dollar. The National Statistical Agency is expected to deliver a disappointing trade balance report. The trade deficit is likely to remain unchanged, and there are even more headwinds for the Canadian currency. Today, the Bank of Canada's monetary policy meeting will challenge the loonies resilience. At the same time, tomorrow, Bank of England Governor Stephen Paulus will deliver a speech, and the day after tomorrow, the employment change report will be unveiled, which is likely to show a slowdown. Thus, uh, this report can also be a hurdle for the Canadian dollar. The US jobs market will probably demonstrate the same tendency. The number of the employed people in the non-farm sector is expected to increase by just 200,000. Last month's analysts were also rather pessimistic and predicted a rise of 119,000. But the actual reading exceeded the forecast. In October, the non-farm payrolls came in at 250,000. Besides, the average earnings grew at a faster pace. On that day, traders had been already buying the American currency in anticipation of this report, and after publication, the volume of loan deals increased even more, and the US dollar index added 50 pips. Probably this time, the jobs report will also provide unexpected results. On the top of this event, traders will pay attention to the OPEC meeting that can have significant influence on oil quotes. Meanwhile, investors are pessimistic. Traders who work with the currency pairs will also be interested in the following events. Tomorrow we'll start with the publication of the data on domestic and foreign consumption of Australian goods. The retail sales and the trade balance reports will see the light. Later in the day, the United States will unveil the trade balance data and the non-manufacturing ISM index. Furthermore, voting FOMC member Rafael Bostic will deliver a speech. On the next day, other Fed officials Lyle Briner, John Williams and Fed Chair Jerome Powell will also provide their comments. Meanwhile, in Europe, Germany will mm. Meanwhile, in Europe, Germany will publish the industrial production data, the final Eurozone GDP estimates, as well as the Halifax House Price Index, which is the key gauge of the consumer sentiment in the UK. And let us remind that the week will end with the publication of jobs data from the United States and Canada. You are watching Forex Trader Calendar on Insta Forex TV channel with me, Kate Stichina. We wish you profitable deals. Wir sind Forex.